you again at five. The family of a 12 year old boy, Andre Smith, coming together to pay their respects. Prosecutors say that Smith was killed by his grandfather last month. Tony Atkins was at that service and Tony, of course, it must have been emotional. That's right, very emotional inside this church today because everybody says they knew the enormous potential that Andre Smith II had. They said he wanted to be an entrepreneur. They said he wanted to even be the president of the United States. Unfortunately, he won't get to do any of that because his life was cut short and his family says they don't want any other child to have to go through what they would do. The homegoing service for Andre Smith II, just 12 years old, his life remembered by many. His casket draped in colorful flowers, as bright as his personality. His dreams matter. His aspirations matter. His feelings matter. His thoughts matter. And if we build him in his life, we're going to dignify him in his past. A bright smile and aspirations to be an entrepreneur and even the president. Prosecutors say his grandfather, Andres Martina, beat him and his younger brother last month. Andre was killed, his brother recovering after being hospitalized. Andres Martina now faces life in prison. He wasn't supposed to go out like that. It's not fair to him or anybody. Andre's mother, Nikita, showing videos of him happy, dancing and singing, full of personality. Although they weren't current guardians of Andre and his brother at the time of the incident, both of Andre's parents say they're happy to see the outpouring of support for a boy who spent his short life making others happy. He just, you know, always wanted to put a smile on people's face. He wanted to change uh, change the world. He wants to reach lives. And Andres Martina, Andres' grandfather is due back in court on Monday, September 13th. For now, reporting live in Milwaukee, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News.